Hello, let's start with our th sixth section and switch the synchronous communication to asynchronous communication using events. At the start, we configure the rating service to listen to messages on a channel or topic, which is added to the message broker, which is RabbitMQ in our case. Then we can start to send messages from the bro uh, bookmark service to that channel to notify rating service instances. And at the end, we will have a look at different ways to configure these message channels to achieve certain goals. And also, uh, we go a little bit deeper into messaging itself. Hello, now we are going to start with the configuration of the rating service. We can directly start by adding the configuration and binding glue code to our service. Then we should have a look how we can test such a message based service. After all, the mock MVC tests that we have seen before won't help us here. And at the end, we just start up the service and have a look at the log output regarding the message consumer configuration. All right, let's um, enhance our rating service to be able to receive events. Um, we start by creating a configuration class. Let's call it amqp config. And this is a configuration class. And now we receive the, or we use the new enable binding annotation and for this we need to provide an interface let's call it message sync and we're going to create it first public interface message sync name doesn't really matter and this needs a string field which is named by the or like the queue book mark or it should be named like the queue deletions and the value is what the queue will be named on the RabbitMQ, which is bookmark deletions. So then we have to provide inputs and outputs. Right now we only have an input and this will be a subscribable channel as return type and bookmark deletions as name. So this should be the same as this. If you have to or want to use a different name, then you can provide this as parameter for input. All right, so this is what we need. So Spring is able to bind us to the channel, but of course we also need to handle this. We don't have any service here and I don't want to put this in the controller or repository. So let's call this event service because it handles our events. So service or a component, doesn't matter. We want to have an all args constructor so we can have our dependency. So private rating repository, because we want to delete that stuff. And then we're going to create a public void process delete method, which receives a bookmark delete event that we're going to create now. Oh, I was right. So bookmark delete event. Let's create it in our class. Public static. All right. So this needs also an annotation called stream listener. And here we have to provide the interface again. And from the interface, we need our constant mark deletions. So um, this is why you would use um, the constant for it because you need the string behind this in multiple places and you don't want to mess it up somewhere because then you just won't receive any events. So remove, provide a few fields here. So this is a data bean. We want an all args constructor and a no args constructor, which we need for Jackson because these events should be from service to service using JSON to be portable. And we need the type and the entity ID in this events. So event dot get type, event dot get entity ID, and that's basically it. We don't need anything more to receive events. But right now we would receive this event on all instances of the rating service. We don't want that, so let's get rid of this behavior. So we use spring dot cloud stream bindings. And now we have to provide the name that we have in the constant, which is bookmark deletions. 
bad that we can't use the constant here. And here we have a few properties and one is group. And we just use the service name ratings. So which means that all instances of ratings are in the ratings group for this queue, meaning that only one of these instances will process a message. So, so far so good. But we also want to test all that stuff. So we haven't fixed the test setup yet, so we need the application properties and the bootstrap YAML from the test root in the bookmark service and copy this over here. You might need to create the resource directory. Um, we can get rid of a few things. So we don't need data redis and we want the spring session store of type none. And we want to disable Spring Cloud Config because we are not going to use the config server for our tests. So let's copy the test class and call it messaging tests, for example. And here we can select as web environment the random port so we don't clash with the running version of the ratings application, which also means that we can start this in the background now so we can have a look at it in a few minutes. So in our test we need a mock bean which is the mock version of a bean of the rating repository because we want to have a look if this is really removed when the event occurs. And then we need also an auto-wired version of the message sync and we also need an object mapper because, as we said, this is um, transferred using JSON. And we want to pretend that there was an event. Right, so these are the required things that we need. Message is processed. And now we have to create the payload first. So this is sent using the event. Um, we could create the JSON statically, but I like this approach more. Now it's called mapper. Mapper.varieta.write value as string. New bookmark deletion event with uh, the number one and the number two as parameters. So this can throw an exception. We don't care. So now we have to send the message. How can we do this? We say sync dot bookmark deletions dot send and now we need a message builder and uh, you have to use the message builder from org spring framework messaging support not the other ones and you say with payload and provide the payload you could also head us here etc but we just say build this works and now we can check if that happened what we expect so we say verify Rating repository, let's import this dot remove one comma two and let's quickly start the test. And while this is starting, we can have a quick look at the run dashboard. Oh no, it failed. Consider defining a bean named bookmark deletions in your configuration. That's not very nice. So in our uh, public class MQP config, oh, I forgot to add the enable binding here. Message sync dot class. So that was important. How are we on time? Well, let's have a look. So let's run this again. And we should also run the tests again because of course this failed as well so let's look for bookmark deletions this will be printed out soon so here we have some output so you can see that channel ratings one bookmark deletions has one subscriber registered message channel bookmark deletions so this is a little bit of output here, and this is the important stuff. Started inbound bookmark.delete.ratings. So this is our group, and this is the queue. All right, so where is our test? It looks like it didn't start. 
So um, you have seen in the log file that the queue has been created, that the group also was correct. If you made a typo in your configuration file, you wouldn't see the group ID behind the uh, queue name. And also, hopefully, the messaging test will be green as well. You can very, very easily test all that stuff. And using the uh, test dependency that we hopefully have added, did I add this? No, I didn't add it. Okay, you can add a test dependency. I completely forgot that. And it's called spring minus cloud minus stream minus test minus support. And the group ID is org.springframework.cloud. And the scope needs to be test. So our test is very likely to succeed anyway, because right now we have RabbitMQ running, so it's able to connect to the real thing. Small letters. So, and the Spring Cloud Stream Test Support overrides any binder. So when you include this, then you won't be able to connect to the real, uh, to the real service using your tests. So as I've seen, the test is passed, and if we would do it now, it would go to the RabbitMQ itself. So we are over time again. As you have seen, it's very easy to listen to events, and next will be uh, sending of events.